Hello everyone, this is Viknesh. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to integrate your applications with uh, by using a Zogo flow. Actually, Zogo flow is used to integrate your application. For example, if you'd like to integrate uh, Zogo CRM with uh, any other third party app or uh, any third party app with uh, any Zogo applications, for that, it may help you for doing that integration. So in this video, I'm going to tell you an, uh, one example of uh, how to make an integration in a Zogo flow. So in this video, I'm going to do an integration with the Zogo CRM with the Google Sheet. So uh, this is my uh, Zogo CRM account and this is my Google Sheet. So what I'm trying to do in this video is I'm I try to integrate a lead module with my Google Sheet. So whenever I'm creating a lead in uh, Zogo CRM, I would like to populate those values in my Google Sheet. For that, let me explain how to uh, do this integration. First, what we have to do is just go to my flows and you have to create a new flow for that and you have to give a name for that. Zogo CRM. I'm just giving the name as Zogo CRM to uh, Google Sheet. Description is not mandated, so I'm just skipping this. Now, I have to choose my app here. So, there will be a three options. One thing will be app. So, these are all the default app, which is uh, supported by the Zogo flow for making an integration. And another one is on a scheduled uh, basis, based on that schedule, like a cron job in uh, like a cron job, we can make an integration and that will be the the book. So in this video, I'm going to explain about uh, configuring an app. Now I'm just choosing, uh, I'm just choosing, I'm choosing is OCRM. And next, I'm just choosing new lead. Trigger, it will trigger when the new lead is created. So like a lead, you can create a node or user or a new contact or whatever the model you want you can i'm just clicking next and this is an important one so for making an integration you have to connect your reservoir flow with that particular app so when you click at connect it will ask you to give a name i'm just giving my connection name as a zero crm connection then you you have a two option over here then First thing will be all triggers and action. It means it will uh, consider all of the scopes which is currently there in your CRM. Then second one will be only specific trigger, whether it's an only for a lead, you want to provide access only to the lead or um, whatever the thing which you want to provide access, you can uh, select those things. Now I'm going to select all triggers and actions and I click authorize. I'm just uh, allowing access to all of uh, all of the scopes, and that's it. Now it's connected with my Zogo account. Now I do a test. It was working fine. Now it's done. Now I have to choose the second app. Now I'm going to choose a Google Sheet. Create row. Now I have to create a connection for the Google Sheet. It's not mandated to create a connection for each and every time. So once you are creating a connection, so when you go to our settings, and uh, that you can find a connection which are all uh, which are all uh, created under your account. So this is a connection which we are created just now, right? So it's appear over there. Like this, if you create it for a Google Sheet, it will be appear over there. So we can use the same connection for doing that uh, integration on the next time.
So again, I'm doing a test here. So it was fine. <coughs> now I have to choose my Google Sheet. Currently I have a only one sheet in this account. This is an account which is created for testing purpose. So this is a sheet name. So go flow testing. This is an, a sheet ID. You can find the sheet ID over here also. So under that which sheet I would like to create, I have only one sheet. If I have a sheet one and sheet two, it will show you those details over here. So now in the first name, I have to select those fields. I'm just refreshing the fields of the store here. So I have to select the field here. <laughs> now I'm going to select a field over here. So first thing will be, uh, I'm just selecting a first name and I'm selecting a last name, then email. Here I'm just choosing uh, the email ID. I'm just doing a find here. Then I'm choosing a mobile. And finally, it's a created by. So it's done. Now I completed that one. Now I'm just turning that flow. Now let's see how it works. I'm going to create a new deal in my Zoho CRM. I just given the name as uh, and the last name as uh, and company the food test for mobile number and the email and finally I save this. Now, when I go to my Google Sheet, it will be updated over here. Let's wait for uh, some more time. So here, uh, when you go into that flow, you can see the success response and the failure response over here. So now the data was coming from that uh, Zerbo flow. You can see there is on success response. In case if when, when you are adding your data, it's not pushing into your, it's getting a, I throw an error message. In that case, it will notify you what the failure was happened um, in the dashboard itself. Also, they notified over an email, so you may get to know what's the reason. They can analyze what's the reason for the failure, then you can fix. So this is how uh, we have to make uh, integration with the uh, integration using that Zerbo flow. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries, uh, just uh, Post your command uh, the video. Thanks.